Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. Over there, we do have John Lewandowski right now, currently not a camera, because he's showing you what we're going to be doing, talking about. Yep. Well, before we get into all that, we our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Well, the address right there. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Um, or visit the website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. All right, so we're here for Preds training camp. Now, one of one of the things that I, I'm going to get into in our next few videos is some of the changes that could possibly happen. But right. uh, let's not get into that and cause panic right yet. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But anyway. Um, they have 12 forwards on their roster, uh, Phil Tomasino being the highest touted one at the current moment, along with Zachary LaRue. Um, if he makes the roster out of camp, he will not be reporting back to Halifax in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Okay. Um, if he does make the roster, he will um, have to, if he plays more than nine games, cannot report back. So therefore, would have to remain on the roster for the remainder of the season. So it's more okay. of those, and we'll see what happens. Things. All righty. So, um, then we have Cole Smith, who last year played with the uh, Chicago Wolves, and as many of you know, played for the Nashville Predators. He signed on uh, three nineteen of uh, twenty twenty for this year. Um, we right. have uh, Nicholas uh, Porco out of uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. He played for Texas in the AHL last year. Um, at the current moment, is not signed under any form of contract with anyone. This is right. a camp invite to, uh, yes, an amateur tryout rookie camp invite. Uh, Patrick Harper uh, is there as well. He will be wearing number 44. Uh, he is a, a fifth round draft pick of the Nashville Predators in 2016. Last year, played for the Everblades and the Chicago Wolves. Now, as many of you may look at this, and if you did not pay attention last year, the Chicago Wolves were the AHL team for the Nashville Predators for one season due to the Admirals opting out of the 2020 campaign. All right. All right. Um, then we have Jake. Yarminko out of uh, now then Minnesota. Really? Wait, is uh, it? He played, for, well, uh, he played for Minnesota State in the uh, uh, in the NCAA. Um, he is not under contract with anybody at the current moment, but we never make any promises to anybody about what could or could not happen. Right. Yeah. Um, some of these may be guys that signed AHL deals that aren't released, aren't announced yet. They could have signed ECHL deals that are not announced yet. Uh, we do not know at the current moment. Right, because uh, they're all trials. Yeah, sometimes Nashville will invite guys from like Florida to their camp to make sure to see what they got there as well. All right, right. So then we got Grant Mismash. Grant Mismash, one of my favorite names in all of hockey. He's a six foot one out of Adena, Minnesota, played for North Dakota last year. He's a second round pick by the Preds in 2017. Um, will be making his AHL debut this year with the Admirals, to my recollection. I don't see him making it on the roster out of camp. Um, just he, he needs more seasoning. We'll see what happens. Um, just from what yeah. I've seen of him. Just from what I've seen. I, I can only speak for what I know. All right, then we got Zachary LaRue. It is very uncommon you have to see a 27th overall pick make the NHL team first year. Very uncommon. Possible, yes, but it is uncommon. Uh, last year he played for uh, Halifax, but they didn't even really play, so. Right. Yeah, let's not get into that. No. Um, uh, then we have Igor Afanasev. Afanasev. I'm hoping to get it right. I will talk to some of the staff later um, in the season, mostly Aaron, to see how it's actually pronounced. Right. Get it right. 
Um, he is six foot four on a Chivira Russia. Um, last year he played for uh, CSKA Moscow in the KHL, as well as playing Russian two and the Russian Junior League. Okay. Um, then we have the Naples, Florida native who played for the uh, Chicago Wolves and the Florida Everglades, as well as Northeastern out of Hockey East in the NCAA, Zach Solo. He has signed with the Milwaukee Admirals for this year. He signed on 4 21 Yeah. All right. We have Yuso Parsonen making his trek over here from Finland, from Haminla, ha, wait, Haminlina, Finland. He played for TPS last year. Uh, he is a six foot three left handed shot forward. He was drafted in 2019 in the seventh round, 210 overall. Just remember when I say draft picks in the seventh round, there are a lot that make the NHL that they just get overlooked. Yeah. Or they start to. Bring, uh, they develop later and and they work out. So that's yep. just how that goes. Um, we right. have one of, is. one of the two veteran forwards on the list along with Cole Smith is Tommy Novak. Tommy Novak is in his third year pro going or going into his third year pro out of St. Paul, <laughs> Minnesota. Yeah. Um, he uh, is a six foot one left handed shot, 179 pounds forward. Last year, he played for the Wolves and the Everblades. He is a third-round pick uh, in 2015. Spent most of his time, um, but during that time, uh, played two years in the USHL and then went to college to play for the University of Minnesota, the Golden Gophers. Anyone that knows that there are three, te- three major hockey teams for men's hockey in the United States, that is Boston College, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. UMD yep. is up there. There's a few. Uh, North Dakota is up there. There's a few up there. Denver's up there. Yeah, Denver's but, up there. But Denver's known more for producing goalies and defensemen. Yeah. Um, then, after all that, we have another amateur trial contract offered to Kyle Jackson out of uh, Ontario. He played last season for the North Bay. Uh, I believe they're called the Volunteers. Uh, they are out of the Ontario Hockey League. Okay. Um, this would be his first year pro. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Uh, he is on an amateur trial contract. All right. As far as defensemen go, um, we have David Ferris. He played last year for Boston U. Yeah, um, and the Nashville Predators. He's a third round pick out of uh, uh, in the 2017 draft. Six foot tall, left handed shot. Not uncommon uh, 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 as far as defensemen go. Uh, out of Victory, New York. Um, this year as well, the Admirals have signed uh, Jake McLaughlin, six foot two, left handed shot out of Hinesdale, Illinois. Yeah, Henderson. Silver Knights last season in the AHL. Um, and other people here. We have Jack Mader, a six foot four right handed shot defenseman, 205 on the weight chart. Pretty, that's a big boy. Um, he's out of Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Uh, he played for the Ottawa. I can't remember the name of the Ottawa OHL team. <laughs> there's a there's a couple of them. So yeah, there are. Um, he was drafted in 2021, uh, fourth round overall. Um, I believe he will be just sent back to the minors at this point or juniors at this point for a year. Right. He is not under contract at this time. So um, we'll see what happens there. Um, you have a, a tryout extended to. Xavier Bouchard, uh, six foot three, two hundred one, right-handed shot defenseman, out of Rouen Nordia, Quebec. He also plays oh, yeah. for Rouen Nordia in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Um, he is a tryout, so we'll see what happens. If he does well, he'll probably get signed to an AHL, or, or he could get signed to an NHL deal if Nashville likes him enough. At right. the current moment, looking at Nashville's <laughs> depth chart 
which I can do. Yay me. Nashville Step Chart. They have six open roster spots at the current moment. So um, they would be able to sign uh, a few of these at the current moment. Right. You know, to, to get to shore up Milwaukee's roster at this point. Right. Um, then you have Mark Delgazio. Uh, he is 5'10", left-handed shot out of Baskin Ridge, New Jersey. He played hockey last season for the UMass Amherst team and as well as the Chicago Wolves. He will probably be making his debut this year for the Milwaukee Admirals. In the NHL, he wears number 58. Now we know that's going to be a problem here with Allard already wearing that number, but we'll see what happens. All right. Um, he's a fourth round pick out of twenty uh, in the twenty nineteen draft. Um, I have high belief that he could be a, a carrier like player. A couple years in the A, and he may see some NHL time. Um, no promises given. I can't predict those things, but right. from what I saw in college, I was pretty impressed. All righty. So now we have Simon Mitu. He is under a uh, amateur trial contract, six foot one, right-handed shot, 176 pounds, a little on the light side out of Highland Park, Illinois. He played for the Chicago team in the USPHL Premier, which is a step under college. Okay. Um, he is on the younger side. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, and then we have Luke Proka. Luke Proka signed his entry level deal as well as the major news coming out uh, as the first active uh, player signed to a contract to come out openly as gay. Um, right. I, I give him kudos and a tip of the cap for that one because in some instances that could be a career killer. Uh, so I give him the tip of the cap. I'm all about inclusiveness. Um, to me, it doesn't matter what you do in your personal life. It matters what you do on the ice. Uh, but that's just my opinion and partially what I do here. I mean, I my job here is to tell you what my thoughts are of what they do on the ice. So, right. you know, I, I can't really take too much into personal anymore after the Evander Kane mess. Let's not get into that. <laughs> no, it's a mess. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. We're on to the goaltenders finally. We have three goalies this year at the at the camp. Um, you have Devin Cooley, who's six foot five, played for Florida last season. Yeah, he's solid. I don't think he's AHL ready yet, but he did solid. Um, he is signed for what this season. Um, like I said, let's see what he does. Then we have Brady James out of uh, Beaconsfield, Quebec. Played for the Halifax Moose. Uh, yeah, I think that's the Halifax Mooseheads that they. Yeah, they, Mooseheads. Yeah, um, that they had there uh, out of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. He is signed to an ATL. He did really well in our rookie camp when he was invited. So they invited him back to, or to the development camp. Sorry, development camp. This is rookie camp. As confusing as all this is, it's it's training camp. Let's just be real here. Right. <laughs> um, this is the start of training camp because as soon as this is all done, all the other players report. Right. So, and then we start preseason. Like, you got a week after that, and then you start preseason. So, not even a week. I think it's like four or five days. Right. So like, you know, he's got to impress there because you have guys like Bamaka – who is now on the list as well, gunning for that backup spot here in Milwaukee. Ingram right. is a starter. We know this. Let's not get into that. Uh, Thomas Bamaka, Tomas Bamaka, is six foot three goaltender, catches left. Uh, he's out of Trutnov, Czech Republic. He went to Connecticut University, uh, or Connecticut, the University of Connecticut. Um, he's a uh, Fifth round draft pick out of the 2017 draft. We've yeah. got a couple of those actually in here. One, two, two. 
two, three, three of them out of that draft alone in this list. All right, so now how you can, uh, if you are in Nashville, you can go to the Continental Sportsplex, which is one of the other practice facilities that the Predators have opened up around the city of Nashville. Um, they do their game day prep at the Ford Ice Center, as we all know, but the Continental Sportsplex is where they're doing rookie camp because um, it is in, I believe, closer to Knoxville where they could take the trip to Florida a little easier. Right. So when you look at that, you know, um, most of their stuff is done at the Ford Ice Center. Oh, great. Nice. Complex, really good building. Um, I believe John has it as his background at the current moment. Nope. Not at the current moment. I can pull it up and really. Yeah. Put as you can see, I have the beautiful city of Nashville right behind us. Uh, we are going to attempt to make a trip down there this year. Um, cannot promise when or where or how, but we will right. try. Um, we are currently running into certain roadblocks, but we are trying. With that being said, let's get into the schedule. So, schedule starts on Thursday at 1 p.m. They have a practice. Uh, Friday, they have a practice at 9 a.m. Uh, then we play the Lightning on Saturday um, right. at, 12, at 12 p.m. at Emily Arena in Tampa, Florida. We could, you could probably watch that game for free on the Tampa Bay Lightning's website. Uh, they always like to air these things on their personal website as far as viewing. So we'll right. see how that goes. Um, then Sunday at 9 a.m., they play the Florida Panthers. Um, uh, Monday, they have a practice that is all to be determined as well as the location. Um, and at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, the Predators play the Hurricanes. Uh, the Hurricanes and them will play at 9 a.m. at the Avid Health Center in Wesley Chapel, Florida, as well as the game against the Panthers, which is actually the Lightning practice facility outside of Tampa. Okay. All right. So with that all being said, that is all we have for training camp at the current moment. As we talk yeah. about training camp, I'm going to give you just a slight update of the list of the prospects who are currently playing. Yusuf Parson has already played in two games, has two points, a goal and an assist, and a plus three. Vladislav Yermenko, defenseman out of the KHL, five games played, one goal, plus one. Adam right. Rosby plays for Skolavtia AIK in Sweden, one assist, plus three. Anton Olesen out of, for the Malmo Red Hawks in Sweden, uh, one game played, no stats. Uh, Fedor Sveshikov is playing for SKA St. Petersburg. Two games played, plus two, no, no stats. Simon Knack, two games played, minus one, no stats. Simeon Chishikov, uh, he's played three total games, minus two, minus one in the KHL, minus one in the VHL um, in Russia. Um, and that is all we have for those guys. Um, otherwise, we have um, Yaroslav Askarov, who's playing in the VHL for St. Petersburg, he has one game played, 3.01 goals against average with a 0.875 save percentage. Now that will change. The more they play, the more that save percentage goes up. Right. The less they play, it stays low. Yep. Um, team Volkov has gone over to Liga and is getting his butt kicked. Uh, he has one game played with a 9.00 goals against average with a save percentage of 0. 0.700. Ouch. All right. So that is just the quick update I can give you there. So uh, for that, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. <clears throat> we will see you guys on Thursday as far as more training camp news. Most likely either that or Friday. <laughs> so one of the two days you will guys will be seeing us. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.